What's up, everybody? It's Saber Wolf 94. Another Dark Cry, Dark Cry Turbo standard game here. Uh, we're going to be playing against a pretty interesting matchup where you can either have the advantage or you can get fucked. Basically, it's all up. It's going to be all up to luck. And that is the Alolan Duck Trio, this new deck from Ultra Prism, which I didn't thought it was going to be all that. And it's not all that actually. It's just that. It's better than I thought. I wasn't thinking, I uh, didn't really remember Starmie existed and all that stuff. Uh, the deck is definitely strong when expanded, but it can still fuck you up in standard if you're not careful. Depends on your deck as well. So he's going to open up with Remorade. I'm going to open up with Tapulele. We're both open with a shit Pokemon we don't want to open, probably. Uh, might be worse for me because uh, Tapulele, I only run one. Uh, so yeah, and he can just, he's going to, Discard the Metal Energy. It works out for him too, since he doesn't need energies to attack. Alone and Duck Trio attacks Costless. So he played a pretty big Sycamore here, discarding a lot of shit. Uh, particularly Guzma. I want those guys to just go away. So I'm happy he lost one of them right off the bat. But I mean, this deck probably runs a bunch, and they probably don't need like three to four to get the job done. So yeah. It's going to start setting up using Ultra Ball, grabbing the little Diglets here, a little Diglet. And it's going to retreat, actually, bringing out the Diglet active. And in this kind of matchup, I have to play differently in the way that uh, this deck plays. We don't need our big guys, uh, risk putting them out there and then losing them. My opponent grabbing uh, two prizes for free, basically. I'm really just going to have to use things like Evil Tall and uh, other attackers, like maybe even this uh, Darkrai here, Darkrai Prism, that only gives one prize. And because it only has 60 HP, I don't need to do mass damage. I only need to inflict 60 and they're dead. You know, with uh, the Fury Belt, the Stadium, a few add-ons here and there, maybe I'll get the job done. And I end... Uh, because my hand wasn't really all that great, I didn't want to put the stadium down. Uh, I, I want to play that when they play their own stadium because I know they really want it. They need Mount Coronet. If they don't have that, uh, it, it makes it very hard for the deck to work. But uh, as a result of our end, we got a bunch of bullshit. And I decided, hey, you know what? Uh, I just put myself in a shit position basically for no reason. Uh, you never want to, you don't really want to end shuffling in a lot of cards. It's it's never great. Uh, but when you have to, you have to. And I got punished for doing that. But what was I supposed to do? Anyway, so he played the first Mount Coronet. This deck definitely runs four. Uh, we run three stadiums as well, so I'm going to do everything that I can to disrupt him. So now I'm going to play mine next turn. And unfortunately, the bitch thing is with uh, Reverse Valley is that since this is a metal deck, he is going to get the plus of my stadium. So the extra damage I'm doing basically gets negated. So the stadium basically that I'm playing, it's only going to serve to just get rid of his own stadium. That's it. So too bad. Reverse Valley, we're going to play that down. But yeah, indeed... Uh, it isn't going to do anything. I get 10 extra for Dark, but he gets 10 extra for the Metal Defense. Anyway, so we're going to use Pokemon Fan Club here. And what am I going to grab? All of the options are kind of meh. Uh, we're going to grab the Evil Tolls just because they give one prize. I wish there was a way to knock this thing out in one hit with Evil Tall. I'm just, I get close, but it's not quite enough pretty annoying. My opponent managed to get like two prizes easily already with the uh, Tapu Lele knocked it out. So that's already a pretty shit start. Not good. Things aren't going that well. Uh, this kind of deck is really tricky. It's one of those decks like Night March where you have to play differently. Decks that give two prizes with your attackers uh, give two prizes and do mass damage, you know, this deck doesn't care because a lone doctor would be dead with just 60 anyway. So, yeah. 
not not looking good here, but I'm not out of the woods yet. You know, we've got the evil tolls. Maybe if I do shit right, maybe if we start setting up, get the right cards, uh, I can be back in the game maybe. And hopefully he fucks up with the stretchers because he only has like four Alolan Ductress, basically only four attackers, unlike me where I have a bunch. And if he loses them, it's it's all up to the stretchers. So, didn't manage to get a knockout on the Evil Toll, that's good. If he did, that would have been terrible. And I will be able to finish this one off with Oblivion Wing. It seems my opponent doesn't have much, but since he has the Octillery, he should be able to fix his hand pretty quickly. Uh, we drew the Float Stone, that's not going to be useful right now. And I get the Evil Toll Eggs from the prizes. That's a pretty useless Pokemon as well, man. I mean, I guess it can do 60 for 2. I don't have to maybe worry too much about my opponent's energies and shit. Get the job with two energies. But it's any X Pokemon. It's gonna it's gonna get knocked out easily as well. Maybe with a Fury Belt it might be something since it only needs two energy to work. Unlike the Dark Cry GX, but it's it's not the greatest still. And I mean I guess the Dark Cry can also grab one from the prizes, so it's the same thing from the discard pile. So, another Alolan Duck Trio comes out. My opponent plays the Tapu Lele GX, so a free supporter. And he opts to get the Bridget, I guess, uh, kind of late maybe, but I suppose he hasn't played anything on the bench. Doesn't have much. So he's going to get his bench set up finally. Uh, the Stardew and the Zerua, so it seems he has the Zorok GX for draw too. Uh, this Pokemon helps as well, of course. The star you is the problem, man. Uh, the star you, if he gets a bunch of those out, he can get as many energies as he wants, basically. Easily fill his hand with energies and knock anything out. So that's rough, man. So I'm gonna play down the Evil Toll GX. I don't have much of a choice. I am gonna attach the Darkness Energy on one of them. I have to attach it to one of them. I could do Evil Toll GX, or I could just start uh, putting them on the regular Evil Toll. If I... With three, I can do a hundred, instantly knock it out, and I don't have to worry too much. But uh, we're gonna put it on the Evil Tall EX, it seems, and I'm gonna grab another one, put that on Evil Tall EX as well. Ready. And yeah, it really sucks, man. It really sucks balls. We can't get knockouts. One hit knockouts on these guys. Pretty shit. I mean, I put myself in this shit position on the first turn when I end my whole hand and draw a bunch of shit, basically, but still, man, still. And I hope he doesn't have a way to maybe get a knockout again on this dude, but, I mean, he probably will. Uh, he attached the energy and retreated to lose it, so I'm thinking, okay, he probably has some combo uh, here. And let's see, Guzma brings out the Evil Tolly X, not what I want to see here. And is he going to have enough? He's got the star me out. Uh, he must have a bunch of energies over there, so I'm pretty sure the Evil Toll is probably dead. It's probably going to die, man. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Now, he doesn't have the stadium, though, so I hope to God this works out because remember the energies need to be in hand like if you have a way to bring all of it in the hand from the discard pile then great but if he doesn't then it doesn't matter how many are into the discard pile but it is worrisome so he's got at least two and gold rush I guess I'm safe only gonna do uh, 90 so that's that's actually good as long as he didn't get the knockout uh, I'm satisfied. I'll be able to retali retaliate here. Uh, but first of all, we're going to uh, attach the float stone on it. I guess I'm going to I plan to retreat. Yeah, what we definitely want to do is make him grab seven prizes. So what that means is basically I'm going to retreat this damaged EX Pokemon. Bring out one of my guys that give... Uh, 
one prize. I mean, he only needs 30 damage to die anyway, so we're definitely going to use the Evil Talls. And then I might not be able to use this guy anymore uh, since he's damaged. But then eventually, when he only needs to get one prize, hopefully I promote a big Pokemon EX or GX with the Fury Belt and make, make his life hard uh, to get a knockout. Hope that works out. Uh, it's the kind of thing you have to think about. Uh, there's no other way. We got to do these things if we even, if if, if we even want to try to win at this point. Because, I mean, I'm getting close. I've gotten two prizes. He has gotten three. I'm getting close to him, but he still is in control. He has the advantage. I'm gonna get rid of my stadium for the Mount Coronet. That sucks. I've got my other stadium ready in the wings, in my hand, but. Uh, he, he is going to use this this turn, and he's going to get the knockout on the Evil Tall. That sucks. I hope to God he doesn't Guzmar some shit, but yeah. I mean, how many did he play? He must have played at least two, am I right? Or he discarded one. He played at least one. Did he play a third one that I don't remember? I don't know. But yeah. Not in a very optimal position still. So, we've got the Darkrai GXs, both of them in hand, next to each other, okay. Yeah, the whole rainbow cigarette thing, I'm not a big fan of. But anyways, uh, I'm probably going to get rid of them with uh, the Sycamore. Uh, I guess, getting the plus, maybe, we don't need to gather this many energies, but uh, I guess I'm still going to do that. And... 150 damage, Evil Toll is toast. Uh, we'll be able to retaliate here uh, with the third Darkness Energy on the Evil Toll and knock out this Alolan Ducktail. Hopefully my opponent uh, becomes hard on him uh, because I'm knocking these Alolan Ducktails out in one hit or two hit knocking them out. He only has four, like I've said. So he has the little Dicklet over there, but no Ducktail. It's not a Ducktail. So he needs a stretcher, or maybe he has one in hand. Uh, he might have to dig for one if he doesn't have one. He needs Ducktrio to attack. He doesn't have anything else to attack with. This deck really relies on this shit. So I attached the Choice Band, uh, basically just for the fuck of it. Uh, it's not going to do anything. I probably won't use the Evil Toll anymore. And we got Hoopa, and that's actually that might not be too bad, actually. I'm uh, going to use that maybe. It gives one prize too. But I mean, my opponent, I think he only needs, yeah, two prizes left. So once the Evil Tall dies, it's going to be up to a GX Pokemon here. So I'm going to try and power up perhaps the Evil Tall, the, the Darkrai GX. And... I don't know, I guess, what are we going to grab with Nest Ball? We don't have, uh, I mean, I don't need the Mime and Darkrai Prism isn't going to do anything. I guess I'm just going to grab it to thin the deck. And hopefully we get the Fury Belt or something. That's that's all we need, uh, basically. And just luck. Just the blessing of luck. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to put them on to... Darkrai X as well. I mean, I guess he only needs two to work. It's going to get the job done anyway, but... Alone and Ductrio is toast. I get a prize. Uh, what's it going to be? A Darkness Energy. Okay. And let's hope my opponent just doesn't manage to get a Ductrio. Okay, he did. First thing. Alright. So... They, he got it out. So Evil Tall is dead, but I hope, I hope to God, maybe, hmm, he just, this is the last one. Hopefully he's using Stretcher, grabbing the Dicklet here. So he must be like in a low resources when it comes to the Dicklets and Ducktrios. I'm pretty sure he should, shouldn't have another Ducktrio out. I must have, well, I killed three, and this is going to be the fourth one that I'm going to knock out next turn. So he is going to have to play another stretcher for Ducktrio. And that's it. Uh, his deck is pretty thinned out. Uh, he's got a pretty big hand. 
<laughs> man. So I'm thinking it's pretty hopeless, but, you know, let's try. Let's hope he just doesn't have another stretcher or he's out of ductures, basically. Uh, that's the hope. All right. Big ass hand here. Gold Rush. Gold Rush. What an attack. So, Evil Tall is definitely dead. I'm pretty sure he has enough to get done the job. Yeah. 150. 120. Wow. He didn't manage to get the energies. Oh, shit. Okay, that's great. That That is great. That gives me a lot of hope. That really makes things very good. So right now what this means is that I'm going to get the knockout and I'm going to play the Fury Belt of course on my guys here. Uh, and I'm hoping to God he doesn't do something like uh, Guzma because that's the only thing that can basically, he can only win with Guzma now because I'm going to knock out this dude and next turn I'm, I have one of the Darkrai, well the Darkrai X ready uh, on the bench here. So, his life must be pretty hard. Uh, he needs a lot of resources to finish me off if he doesn't get Guzma. Uh, with Guzma, he can just pick up the Evil Tall and finish me off easily. But, uh, I'm gonna use the Field Blower. That's a good thing. Get rid of his Stadium. I have to fucking disrupt him. Make it hard on him as much as I can. And we actually have a good shot now. Uh, we're back in the game. Since he didn't manage to knock out Evil Tall, I mean... Even if I did get knocked out, uh, if he didn't manage to get an, a Duck Trio next turn, uh, I'm was going to be in a good position. But I mean, this way, he just he definitely needs the Guzma now. Uh, because if he just kills the Evil Tall, the damage one, uh, then it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to knock out uh, his guy. So pretty good, man. So he does have another Duck Trio, it seems. Uh, okay. But, what are you going to do? <laughs> are you going to knock out the Evil Tall? Uh, that's, not, that's not threatening against me. So he's using Cynthia, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm safe. No Guzma for this turn. So I know that, okay, uh, you're going to be forced to knock out the Evil Tall. Darkrai is going to come out, retaliate, get the knockout next turn. And I'm hoping to God he just ran out of dicklets, ran out of stretchers. Uh, he shouldn't have any other duck trios, and I mean, <laughs> there's only so many stretchers he can use on both the Diglett and the duck trio. So, it seems hopeless, but maybe I'm going to win because it's going to be out of resources. Uh, so, it's going to discard only, uh, well, he discarded two, I don't know why, but I, he knocks out the evil tall here, and... I'm debating here if I should promote uh, Darkrai GX or uh, Darkrai EX. I don't know why. What the hell am I thinking here? Uh, he shouldn't be... I shouldn't risk. Uh, he shouldn't have resources and shit. Hmm. But I guess we're going to use uh, Darkrai GX and do the job. It's a good thing I topped the DCE. But... Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the Ultra Ball, but at this point, uh, I don't really uh, have a chance. If he hasn't, if he has resources to bring out another Duck Tree out, then I lose. But if he doesn't, then I win, basically. Uh, that's how it's going to be. So I'm going to play the Ultra Ball, I guess, grab the Mime. It doesn't matter what I'm doing here. Uh, it's all up to him, like what he has left. It seems he has another Diglett, so all he needs is basically a... Another stretcher, a way to grab the Duck Trio back, and that's it. But Dark Cleave, I'm going to get the knockout here. And the moment of truth is coming now. I mean, I came pretty close, to be honest, either way. And there's my stretcher. Uh, I bet you want to see that now, don't you? And he brings out the Zorog GX. I guess you can still use something like that, but... I mean, I don't know. He, he actually decked out. Uh, he he decked out. Yeah, he plays the fisherman, draws the energy, but 
uh, he has decked out. So that's actually game for me here. Unless he plays something like and does something. Uh, he played the fisherman though, so that's basically game for me. So kind of uneventful. Maybe kind of I didn't really uh, think about how it happened this way, but uh, it, it's basically game for me. He's going to use the Zorok GX, but it's game for me basically. He decked out. So, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. It seems even though I was in a pretty shit position, if you never give up, you know, we, we turned the game around. Pretty cool. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Saber Wolf 94, what's up?